first things first, I would never swap my dyslexia for anything. Well, maybe a couple of million pounds on a yacht. But apart from that, I would never swap my dyslexia for anything. Mind reading. Superhuman strength. No, 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 not even that, not even that. If you want to know what the advantages of being dyslexic are, I believe they far outweigh the disadvantages. I believe, in fact, the disadvantages of dyslexia are mainly imposed upon us by the environment around us. So, for instance, somebody once asked me, would you swap your dyslexia for anything? And my response was, no, I'd swap my schooling. I genuinely believe that I could have missed 90% of secondary school and it wouldn't have damaged me at all. It wouldn't have harmed me. In fact, it would have done me a lot of good because of the emotional, psychological torture I went through at secondary school. So yeah, I might want to change the teachers. I might want to change school. I might want to change the education system. In fact, I do. But I wouldn't change my dyslexia. So what are the advantages of being dyslexic? What are the good things about being dyslexic? Dyslexia doesn't set you apart from the rest of the human race. You know, you, we don't have superhero powers, but we do have advantages. And let's just have a very quick look at what a couple of them might be. Visualization abilities. Um, everything I'm gonna write down here, there is a wealth of psychological, empirical, and scientific study to demonstrate that these are true, by the way. Great visualization skills, the ability to visualize even a concept and manipulate that concept through more than two dimensions, three dimensions, even more than that. Einstein had this great way of uh, coming up with his special theory, a general, th general theory of relativity. He visualized himself sitting on a beam of light and he looked around himself. What else could he see? What were the other beams of light doing? Were they like rods? Were they like particles? Were they shooting off in different directions? Were they radiating? What, what were they doing? Were they still in comparison with him? Great visualization technique. Holistic thinking. People with dyslexia, in general, think very holistically. There are studies, psychological studies, demonstrating that those people who've got dyslexia have better global holistic thinking skills than people who don't have dyslexia. Um, if you want to reach people with dyslexia, if you want to have a conversation, think globally, think holistically. Structures. You can see how things fit together. You can see how ideas fit together. And sometimes you can even see uh, conceptually how physical things fit together. Dyslexic people tend to be very creative. There is a wealth of research on this, a wealth of, of research on this. And it all points to dyslexic people having certain types of advantages in certain types of creativity. Um, if you want, again, to get the best out of people with dyslexia, allow creativity. And by the way, allowing creativity allows you to find the space to get things wrong. But that's all right. Because if we didn't allow ourselves to get things wrong, we'd never try anything new and we'd never progress in life. So creativity, dyslexics, dyslexic people are very creative. Problem solving. You'll often find dyslexic people are very good at problem solving. And again, this is partly because of the holistic thinking structures, creativity, and visualization techniques. If you can visualize a problem, you can see your way around it. Interpersonal intelligence. Studies have shown that people with dyslexia, they kind of lose um, sort of the ability to read and remember, to read, learn, and inwardly digest, and then regurgitate later. But they tend to have raised interpersonal skills, and they tend to be interpersonally very intelligent. When discussing with others, their ideas shine forth. These are just six, um, really. 
I could go on and on and on, but I don't really want to bore everybody to death. If you want to look up dyslexic skills, look for these six things, okay? Visualisation, holistic thinking, structures, creativity, problem solving, and interpersonal intelligence. There is a lot of work out there, and this work demonstrates clearly that dyslexic people have advantages in all of these things, and all the studies are now showing that these are the things that are required for the 21st century workforce. The 21st century has caught up with dyslexic people already. Hopefully, the rest of the world will catch up with us soon as well.